Been following the storm damage this morning. This is a live picture from our KCCI storm chaser in Greene County where there's damage. Yeah, you can see the trees down. Chris, talk to us about what you've seen this morning. Yeah, good morning, Eric and Alex. I just got to Spring Lake Park maybe about 15 minutes ago. Um, and there's just down trees everywhere. Um, right as you come in the entrance, there's one. And then I'm kind of in the main area right now. And I will pan and you can kind of see one, two, and then there's one behind the, uh, beyond that. And then mm -hmm. another one is kind of all over the place. I spoke with uh, somebody who they were a family or a couple. They were staying in a camper here overnight. They got the weather alert around 4 a.m and they knew these trees tend to uh, not do so well in high winds, so they got in their car and rode out the storm in there. Um, but yeah, just kind of right now, just surveying the damage and uh, uh, taking it all in. Yeah, four o'clock is about the time that Jason was on the air this morning talking about those high winds that were really strong in that area. You can see all that damage around you. It's a lot of street trees made it through just fine, but a Alex, there's some damage up there. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So Jason, what's happening now at the back end of this? It is calming down certainly this morning. Yeah, thankfully, as you saw out of, out of Chris's camera, it, it's quieted down a lot, especially in that neck of the woods. Uh, they still are under severe thunderstorm watch. Uh, otherwise, you can see that's where we picked up on some of that damage. And uh, we're continuing to see that system shift its way eastward. So heavier rain up by Iowa Falls, eastward towards Waterloo. But the strongest of the storms that we're seeing have moved east into uh, far eastern Iowa at this point. So yes, there's still some storms out there, but everything is sub severe. Uh, we're just picking up on a little bit more rain, which picked up on quite a bit. We've had some areas that have picked up on around two to two and a half inches uh, with the storms that we had this morning. So as you make your way throughout your day and especially your morning, plan on some wet roads, still dealing with a few isolated showers and thunderstorms, and we'll have the potential for a few more this afternoon. I'll break down the track of those and where they could be strong coming up.